Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and I'm going to be going over the Monday NBA slate for this Halloween. Uh, Bobby is going to be joining us later for live, so it's going to be uh, on me to give the early preview. Uh, we are going to go game by game, and we're going to start off with Sacramento Charlotte, which already is going to generate uh, quite a bit of value to discuss. Um, so specifically from the Charlotte side, I see one, two, I mean, at least four, perhaps more, um, really, really strong value pieces. With uh, Terry Rozier out um, and Lamella Ball remaining out, uh, this just provides all kinds of uh, all kinds of, of usage for Charlotte, who is still not, you know, gotten a price bump. So the, the top overall value I have. Um, at least for now, pretty much on the whole slate is is Kelly Oubre at 5,900. But there's really a bunch of them. So you have Gordon Hayward, who remains sh uh, small forward eligible, which is important at 6,200. So where what else is Kelly Oubre? So Kelly Oubre is power forward and also um, small forward. So let's, let's put him in power forward for now. Uh, then you have Mason Plumlee, who... Looks to be good value at 4,600. And then you have uh, Dennis Smith Jr. I presume he's point guard eligible only. Yep. So you have four kind of mid-range, just cheap, uh, cheap Charlotte guys. It's uh, very affordable. Um, and they all look like really, really strong plays. So I, I would recommend playing one of them, two of them. You could even play three of them in the same lineup. Now, Pyrrhus will tell you that if you do that, you probably want to try to run it back with – um, at least somebody from Sacramento. So we'll take a look at the Sacramento side. And yeah, I mean, you have um, kind of, first of all, the usual suspect. You have um, where is he? Oh, uh, DeMontis Sabonis uh, at 8,200. And you have De'Aaron Fox who looks like a good play at 8,800. Um, but then you also have a couple of values. Let's take a look. Mm, yeah, so you have Harrison Barnes and Keegan Murray. So Harrison Barnes, he is forward, small forward eligible. And he's 4,900. And then you also have, as I mentioned, Keegan Murray, who is likewise pretty much the same position, pretty much the same price. Um, so right off the bat, you have a game that you could really, uh, put a bunch of pieces together. Now I wouldn't play more than, I'm a little greedier. I, I might play three from each side, uh, if I really wanted to stack up a game and that may or may not be optimal, but I, I I'd like to do that sometimes, but I definitely think you play two from each side and you can get right off to right off the bat, uh, kind of a good start to the slate. Um, there's some pretty good value a little later as well. But uh, in the 10, 30, you know, in the late, late game, but I have no problem with you taking a shot and just stacking this game up and just hoping you get, you know, hoping it blows up. You know what I mean? You have it's a 230 total and, a, and a, a small spread. So it does rate to be a pretty good game environment. Um, Philadelphia, Washington, I'm honestly not sure, I mean, who's going to be playing. So you have Embiid, who did not practice in the early practice. So we're going to have to see what happens with him. I mean, currently, it looks like he's a good play um, and beat it at 10 2. I have him rated as one of the top overall plays on the slate here. Um, so, obviously, it'd be nice to know if he's playing. And I presume that if he's not playing, James Harden is going to be very, you know, very strong. If Embiid does play, I have uh, Harden rated as only kind of a marginal value uh, and a marginal play. Take a look at the Washington side. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing on Philly. Uh, not really. I'm not really getting too much. Tyrese Maxey at 6K is, is okay. I would prefer for him to have um, somebody out. And he definitely has a kind of a good, you know, real wide range of, outco wide range of outcomes. He has a 50 and a 65, then a couple of duds. So um, I probably won't play him because – if 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 both those guys are in, I think he's probably not that great a play. And if one of those guys are out, he's going to be just really popular. 
And I don't like to play really popular guys that have wide range of outcomes. <laughs> so uh, I'm probably going to be off Maxi again. Um, and on the Washington side, um, not, nothing really for me. All right, Atlanta against Toronto. Yeah, I, mean, I have two kind of good spend ups right out of the gate here. I, I don't I didn't expect to get to him too much this season, but. 9,700 on Trey Young on this slate looks to be competitive. So I'm going to put him in my, in this, in this, in this type of build. And then on the other side of the game, you have Toronto. Um, you have um, Pascal Siakam at 8,900. Um, you'd have to go down a little bit to get to other guys, but Van Vliet is okay. Scotty Barnes is okay. And then you're down on the Atlanta side to DeJounte Murray. Um, but Trey Young is clearly the best play on Atlanta's for me. And, and Toronto, I guess the next one I would play is Scotty Barnes. So something like this, something like Trey with Barnes and Siakam. That, that seems to make some sense. If you want to do some kind of mini stack. And, and not, not a hell of a lot else uh, stands out for me. <laughs> All right, Indiana against Brooklyn. Getting a couple of good pieces here in the value range, but not guys that you like to play. Well, one guy that you do like to play is Miles Turner um, at 5,500. He's rating for me to be one of the top values on the slate. So we'll put him in here. And then you're getting on the other side, Ben Simmons at 6,400. Looks pretty, pretty strong. Hasn't really done all that much, except he's played 35 minutes, three games in a row. And that's really all you can ask for from him. So it definitely looks like, you know, be a decently owned play, but he certainly looks okay. So uh, Ben Simmons and Miles Turner for me. And then I guess we'll go back to Jalen Smith at 5,500. He's viable. Um, and then the spend ups, I think both the spend ups for Brooklyn are okay. I think, I think Durant and, and Kyrie are playable at once again low ownership. So um I do think both these guys have ceilings. I mean, two two games ago, Kyrie put up a put up a 68 ball, right? <laughs> just like that. Um, including three steals, four assists, seven rebounds. So he still has that ceiling in him somewhere. So um between him and Durant, I don't think either of them are particularly bad plays. So uh, Simmons, Durant, and and Kyrie for Brooklyn, Jalen Smith and Miles Turner for Indiana. All right, moving on. Detroit against uh, Milwaukee. Um, yeah, so Isaiah Stewart from Detroit looks to be a strong play. Let's see what his price is. He's only 5,200. Uh, I have him rated a little below um, Miles Turner, but I mean, not that much. So I think both these guys are in play for me. Uh, so Isaiah Stewart would be my one Detroit guy. I'm not really getting to Cade or anything like that tonight. But Giannis is, you know, it's, it's Giannis is the best overall point projected, uh, projected point scorer on the slate. But they priced him at twelve five, and uh, as of now, I don't really see too much value. You know, I, I, I the value I've, I've identified is more around the four, you know, five k or maybe high fours. Um, so it's it's very difficult to get him in. But if you can do it, I mean, he certainly rates to be clearly the top, you know, point scorer, you know, on the slate, and he's going to be somewhat low owned. But to give you an give you an idea, we'll put him in. I mean, you could do it, right? You put in 12, five Giannis and a bunch of these, you know, five Ks and you can make it work. So you have to embrace all those 4,900 guys I talked about earlier, but yeah, you could do it. And uh, it certainly rates to be the best play. So why not? All right. Um, Memphis against Utah. I'm not really projecting all these Memphis guys quite yet. So I guess we have to look to see 
if if John Morant's playing, if um, or if because if not, then we're gonna go right back to Tyus Jones. So we have to keep an eye on this. We got to see what's going on on the Memphis side, um, and we'll we'll have a better idea for that, you know, closer to lock. Um, in the absence of that, I really don't have much to say from the Memphis side, and and from the Utah side, not really getting much of anything. Um, so I guess this whole game is kind of number one dependent on dependent on John news, and number two, I don't really get into too much of it anyway. But if Jaw is out, then Tyus Jones and all these guys are going to be really good plays. Um, and if he's in, uh, you know, just just check with me for updated projections a little bit later. So Houston, LA, uh, some really good value uh, in in this game. Specifically, well, not specifically. Let's just talk about it. So first of all, you're getting. Reggie Jackson showing up for me at least as one of the top values overall. Um, and he's look, doesn't look his ownership is that bad. So he's gonna be he's gonna look really strong for me. And then the other two clippers are for me are Paul George and Terrence Mann. Terrence Mann at 4,400 makes a lot of these Giannis, Giannis lineups work. So uh, I definitely like that. And again, if you can get in. Paul George uh, at 9,300, go for it. Um, and that's pretty much all I got. Uh, on, the, on the Houston side, uh, I hope Bobby's kind of around a little bit later because the only guy I like on the Houston side is Bobby Firestone's one and only um, Alf, Alperin Sengun. I really have him as a, as a as a solid play today, um, he's only 5,200. And as I mentioned earlier, these 5,200 guys are going to be coming really handy today, especially if you want to play Giannis. So um, I definitely like him. He's my favorite of the Houston guys, at least this early juncture. So just to kind of summarize, I mean, I, I honestly went over probably at least 10 like legitimate 5K players, all of whom could be paired with 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 Giannis with, with a great deal of ease. Um, so I would uh, I would go to them like uh, Kelly Oubre, Reggie Jackson, Miles Turner, Gordon Hayward's not too much more than that. Uh, Isaiah Stewart, Jalen Smith, Plumlee's even below 5K. Singoon, Dennis Smith is right around there. Scotty Barnes a little bit higher. So I think th those guys are going to be where you get your meat of your action uh on today's slate i'm going to be around uh for live at six uh, i encourage you to join me and bobby as we break down this again with the, the latest news updates and all that stuff i'm looking forward to a good monday slate